Welcome everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's an exciting day all around the world for gamers. It's the launch of the Nintendo Switch and I've just had mine for a couple of hours now and I've been trying out various things and I now want to play some Shovel Knight. So what I'm excited about this for this particular game is the Spectre of Torment campaign which I believe is launched today worldwide on the Nintendo Switch and will be coming out on other platforms in a month or so. I've watched the trailer, it's a retro game, it looks interesting. And I've never played any Shovel Knight before, but I know it's got a good reputation, so I'm pretty excited to try and play this. And it's going to be my first Nintendo Switch experience as well, so I need to work out the controls and everything, get used to these Joy-Cons. Now let's have a look here. I know it's a prequel and Spectre looks like the name I'm looking for, so I'm guessing that's the one I want to play. Yep, there we go, Spectre of Torment. Register your nickname. Okay, let's put my channel name in here. The Get used to these Joy-Cons next gen. Now we are good to go. And it's got old school lettering of course, as is to be expected. Quite like the retro look from what I've seen in the trailer. Pick a profile. Haven't got any amiibos and we don't want to play co-op. So let's go. Choose this profile, yes. Yeah. So I want to get used to the Switch controls and the, I've got, if you're interested to see how I'm playing at the moment, it's on my television and I've got a Joy-Con in each hand and I'm suspecting I can use both to play this game. And I'll try not to talk too much during this so you can focus on the game as well, but I will give my thoughts and a few words here and there as we go through. And I'd like to say, if this is something you'd like to see more of, if you'd like to see me play through the whole of Spectre of Torment, and put up the playthroughs on my channel, let me know if the video gets enough support and enough people leave in the comments saying that they'd like to see that, then I certainly will be happy to play more of the game. But quite refreshing to go back to this old style of game, I mean we all know what consoles are capable of these days and PCs, they can produce some pretty impressive graphics, but just to go back to the sort of things almost where not going back to the start of gaming but more back to the early days of gaming uh, it's quite interesting it can be quite a test as well it can be quite difficult to play some of these games don't know how difficult this one is we will soon find out it's time for the reaper to pursue his quarry okay let's get going but I do enjoy platforming games, but it's been a long, long time since I've played one, but I'm uh, instantly liking the look of this game. I like how the uh, the cloak's flowing there in the wind. Now let's get started. There we go. So I'd actually press a button there to get started. So I'm trying to get used to these. So I'm, let me see. Yeah, I've got to move about on the left thumbstick, on the left Joy-Con. I've got jump. Got an attack here and nothing on that button. Oh, and then we've got some gear. So we've got a keeps it locket. Knights recruited zero of eight. We need to get eight, obviously, and stirs memories of the past as a concert memory of your future. Then we've got a crimson cloak, that's what we're wearing and was flipping in the wind. A tattered garment tinged with remnants of the past. Liking the retro music as well. Right, let's get out of that screen. So this could be interesting trying to work out how to play. Oh, lots of uh, treasure and stuff to collect. Okay, trying to get used to the movement. So it looks like we can scale walls. Nothing up there. Nope, nothing up higher. Need to jump across. Can you anything in there? Nope. Okay, so that surface there, whatever it is, appears to be we can't jump up there. Don't know if this sort of stuff's new to Spectre of Torment or if people watching this have played the original Shovel Knight or the other DLC for it will know what they're doing better than I will. But uh, I'm just trying to figure out the controls and get used to the switch as well. Anything in here? No. Nope. Like a slime thing there. Can't crouch or anything, although when I move down in the joypad my character's doing a little movement like flexing his knees but He's not actually able to crouch from as far as I, from what I can see. I do like the look of the graphics though, I mean they're, they're not exactly taxing on a modern console. 
but uh, they've got that retro look. And I do like the music as well. Right, that looks like I'm guessing death if I fall down there. Hmm. Well, I can see a diamond underneath me, so I'm or an emerald or whatever they are, but I'm guessing it's safe down here. What's that? Yeah, that looked a bit suspicious, that brick there. Hmm, how do I get up there though? Can't you oh, can I go up this way? Yeah, of course we can. So is that like an extra life, I wonder? I haven't read anything about this game. I just watched the trailer for it. I deliberately kept away from it because I wanted it to be like a fresh experience. I don't know if there's like more out there than just the trailer, but... Okay. Can't get up there, I'm guessing. Oh! Okay, that's interesting. So what is that? You can do a sort of... Okay, you see like a tack and that propels you forward. Probably should have looked to see if I could get some uh, instructions or something for this game, but it looks fairly simple, but it doesn't mean it's easy. I think that's a checkpoint. Uh, and here's another one of these things, so... Need to time a nice jump, and a, up we go. jump on these things to get around. Now here's our first bit of uh Ah, okay, so we can either go the easy route across there or we can try that way. And oops and uh, oh my <laughs> well Right. I knew what I was doing there. I accidentally pressed attack again and it sort of threw me backwards but I should probably go across and try and get them. Oh Okay. Right, let's uh, take three. Let's see if we can do it this time. Right, we've got our belongings back. Get rid of that and uh, I'm trying to get back up and get this skull which I have not managed to do, so I'm going to have to... I'm going to continue. I don't know if it's important to get... Oh, oh. Right. Wow. Wow, got to get out of the way of those things. Right, so they're easily destroyed. It's just a case of timing it. And he was a lot easier than he looked. So that's the, the wall stuff. We can't go up there. We're having to head further down. I guess they're like a... I don't know if they're like a mini boss or what they are. Oh, it's first encounter with a skeleton. Got to jump in these sometimes. Always wary of just falling down in case there's something underneath that's going to cost me my life. Good old school platforming. Slime. So let me know in the comments if you've played Shovel Knight, the original, or if you've just got this game today, the uh, Spectre of Torment part of it. And let me know your thoughts now. Oh, that wasn't done too well. Get rid of him. Now, this looks like it could be broke through. Okay, I've got something interesting over there. I've got something above us as well. Get rid of that. Take all of those. Oh, okay, I thought that... Oh, right, I'm getting destroyed by a bubble, apparently. So, it looks like we could... Gosh. I'm going to have to forget those... Oh, no, I could get the diamonds that way. How easy was that? I was making it too hard for myself. So, it looks like you can go over here. Let's just probably get these diamonds. Let's try and time this well. I'm going to meet my doom. There we go. So we've got four at the top, four skulls. I'm not quite sure if that what that actually represents. 
totally new to Shovel Knight as I say so let me know in the comments if there's anything obvious I'm missing out on and you think could help me play this game better please let me know in the comments but it's quite fun this it's a refreshing change from uh, plot uh, from like your usual games that we're all used to playing these days. Now why did that try and throw me downwards? Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to give up. I was wanting to get that like diamond up the top there but every time I attacked that guy the game wanted to throw me downwards for some reason so I'm gonna try and actually go up here if I can I have to gosh ah that was a fail that was an utter fail I try I wanted to get up there but it doesn't look like I can I've destroyed the level so there's no way I'm gonna get up there now unless it puts everything back no it doesn't Ah, there we go, that's what I wanted to do. Awesome. So you can't get any further there. And if we can jump on this guy. Again, it moved me down the way, so I don't know how you're meant to jump upwards to that, but never mind, at least we got some of the stuff up there. Now we've got a checkpoint, and oh dear, this looks a bit interesting. Wow just got that uh, ladder. <laughs> I'm wondering if there's more to the movement system than I'm actually noticing. So if I... there's nothing in my life. If I go up here it's going to throw me that way. Yeah it will. So with a bit of good timing I should be able to get onto this platform here. Like that. And across, and hopefully there's some worthwhile jewels or something waiting. Okay, that's interesting. So it looks like you could have went a number of ways here. Aha! We've got uh, another skull. Now, is this going to propel us? Which way is this going to throw us? No, it's going to put us diagonally, but it's not a problem. Gosh, how do you get up here? Can you just climb up by walking? No. Wow. That is interesting. I'm not actually sure you could get back there. The jumping, the way you're gonna like jump is not too obvious in this game. But I got what I wanted over there anyway, at least I got the skull. And I just saw another one here. Oh, didn't notice that skeleton. Now this one should be fairly easy I'm guessing. There we go. Onwards and upwards, we've got something interesting over here. That's strange, I was able to just walk up there, but the last underneath when I was trying to get that other skull I couldn't. Willful Wisp prolongs your undeath by increasing max will, so we've got another point onto our life which is going to be appreciated I would say in this game. Ah uh, look, we've got a chest underneath, how do I get in there? Hmm, interesting. I don't think I can get, oh I can get across this way. But how do I get up this ladder? Just by a simple jump, apparently. Be something good. Okay, it's lots of uh, jewels, diamonds and so on. We'll take it. Right, slowly getting used to the movement in the game. Can we actually just jump up here? Yeah. Still puzzled why I died back there trying to get back across where there's like the air bubbles and stuff. It just wouldn't let me climb up naturally. 
Oh dear, what have we got here? Right, I should have... Wow! I did not even see there was a gap there. <laughs> the little bit in the background there actually made me look like I could just fall down, you see it? Bit silly, maybe. Oh gosh, we can't get that thing either. Right, is there any going to be anything comes back across that I can jump on? Yeah, here it comes. Let's see if I can get back up quickly. Awesome. Now I need to jump over this guy. you got to watch and not get confused with the backdrops because uh, you can sometimes think you can jump on things that you can't. Take him out. I don't know why the skulls, you just sort of smash them, nothing happens really. Oh dear, we've got another humongous dragon. It's the best way to get up that thing. And down we go. Definitely the old school movement is not easy. Right, let's try this again. Get that thing. Didn't even notice the slime, they just sort of appear sometimes randomly underneath you. Right, back to this huge dragon again. I need to think what I'm doing a bit better here. Let's get down here for safety. Oh no, that bubbles! They are so annoying. It doesn't actually take too many hits to uh, to kill, but that thing is... I don't think I can make that jump, but I'm not sure. I'm not even going to chance it. I don't think I can, to be honest. Hmm. Gosh. So, when I jumped out the middle sort of bat there, the diagonals were pointing down, which meant I was going to jump down. Don't tell me I have to face that dragon again. You're kidding me. So back at this part again, I think I need to either time my jump onto the bat in the middle so that he's either going up or down. And I'm not actually sure which way he was going the last time, so this is going to be a bit of trial and error. Logically, I would assume he's moving up if I want to jump up. So let's try and time this. No, okay, that was lucky. So we need to time it when he's jumping down and I'm guessing I'll get propelled onwards. What on earth? Okay, I'm guessing here, but maybe we need to time it so we're jumping onto it when it's at its highest. Let's give that a try. Okay, that worked. I'm still not sure <laughs> that's the best technique, but there is no way I'm going back to try and get those uh, things I dropped last time I died. That is for sure. We're going to cut our losses and move on there, I think. Watch these little slime things underneath me hiding in the grass there. It's a secret area by the looks of it. Right, I wonder how far we are from the end of this level. Okay, this is interesting. Still not... And I'm just still not sure how you control the direction you jump off those things, but it seems if you hit them you maybe change the direction. So if you hit them once they sort of will take you another way. I'm not too sure though. that and move across. Now I've got like a checkpoint here so I'll activate that. I've got something else here. I'm not sure if this is wise but I'm tempted to go back here and have a look see if I can get across.
Okay, this looks like it could be the very end of level, guy. Let's see how we do against this guy. Okay, they're having a nice exchange of words. This could be quite a battle, I have a feeling. Still feel I need to, I'm missing something in the movement of this game. I'm not quite sure how you direct your movement when you're jumping off of like the bubbles and some of the, like the bats and stuff, but oh great, he's got a steed. Well I did not expect that. Alright, let's try and avoid that thing at all costs and he's gonna fire stuff just to make it a bit harder. Doing absolutely no damage to his steed at all, so got to avoid it at all costs. Got him, a couple of hits. Avoid that. Jump, smash. Get away from him as quick as we can. Nope, can't do any damage to the steed, so got to just keep away from it. Try and get on him, but. Okay, he's going nuts now. He's jumped off. Get, try to get away from that steed. No, he's using all sorts of strategies against me here. Typical old school gaming. Oh gosh, defeated. Right, okay, at least we've learned a little bit of what he's trying to do to us. So let's see if we can tackle him any better now. Oh, is he gonna... Oh no, he's not gonna tell us that story again. Right, let's go for it a bit better this time, hopefully... Oh, we've knocked him off very early this time, but he's going crazy with his steed. Need to get out of there, that steed and him jumping is a bit... Too hard to, <laughs> to time your escapes from, but we're. Get away from that steed. It's, it's quite difficult because they're like moving in separate areas of the uh, the screen now. At separate times, so you're trying to have to watch two things at once. And he's just decided to whack something at me. Oh no, I'm being charged. Jump. Right, let's see if we can get a nice blow into him. Nope, the steed again. Oh, we've got him off again. Ah, gosh. Yep, I think we've took him off. I could hear the game emitting sound to suggest he was weak and we've done it. That's a pretty mean scythe we've got there, actually. The tower grows in power each moment. Very good. And with that, I'm off. Savings. I'm pretty sure that's the first level done. What have we got now? Is this the start of the next one or... Oh, we've got the Enchantress. No, he didn't join our rank. <laughs> that's a pretty accurate story of what happened there. Okay, so she's not too happy, but I thought we did reasonable, considering we're getting used to Switch, getting used to a brand new game, it's back to the old style retro, but that's a lot of fun, I quite enjoy the game. This looks like the start of the next level, so if you'd like to see more of a playthrough of this particular game, Spectre of Torment, let me know in the comments section and leave the video some support, but I hope you've enjoyed my first Switch experience, my first Shovel Knight experience, and I will see you soon for another video.